Hey guys, Bryceoff here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem. We're still on about Uhai, that was a while ago. Extraordinary. Oh yeah? No, what made it then? Non-human hand? Well, I guess so. Wait, do they even have hands? What made it? What made the dragon? Oh, it was elves. Okay, good to know. Sweet. Let's get going, Ellawood. Here for the start of the showdown at the end of the game. In Chapter 19, Dragon's Gate. Ho ho ho! Not sure why I did that. But first things first, let's have a conversation. Wait, we're outside. Why is it all dark and inside? What? Oh, you know. <laughs> so frightening. Yes, she does. Sweet! No, why not? Minion, who? Huh? Yep, you've killed her. Uh-oh. That text looks dark and disturbing. Oh, it's Ephidel. <laughs> Been looking forward to this axe in the face. Gallantly spoken. <laughs> that was actually unintentional when I named my guy. <laughs> I totally didn't even think of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beloved? I don't know about that. Oh, Hector is not happy. <laughs> Swing and a miss. He was just gating them the whole time. Hey, now she can talk. Now she remembers how to talk, and she's gone. Damn, man, he's good at that teleporting. Indeed it can, Lord Darren. <laughs> I know. You're the guy who's failed at everything you've done so far. Man, I don't want to live in a world ruled by that failure. Damn, man. He's laying the beat down on their success stories. Let's go with that, success stories. You're about to get uh, used, Marcus, for a... Marques, I guess, I guess to say it right. He's still alive. Of course, it's only a matter of time before the Black Fang... Yeah, no, the Black Fang... <laughs> Shouldn't have let that assassin get there. Stop this foolishness. He's dying. Okay, kingdom come, thy will be done. Hey, buddy. Look at this guy. Maybe you could say he's father inside? <laughs> no, he will not. Oh, yeah. Man, that guy's got the taunts. We're gonna have to fight a couple people of name in here. Alright, who are we bringing on this little thing? Well, we gotta bring our three lords. Lowen's pretty cool. Rebecca's pretty cute. We're gonna need a thief, obviously. There's some chests and things, if I recall. Raven, sure. And, um, Florina, who... Ridiculous. And, um, the guy Elia Ding Dong, sure, Dart, Barter, and Priscilla. But, do I want to drop somebody? Who am I going to 
drop out of this grouping is the question. Who, who, who would make sense for me to drop? And also into, I got a lot of candidates I want to get in the game. But none of you losers. You losers are cut. Not you. You guys are still cool. Hmm. How am I going to do this, boys and ghouls? How are you doing there, Raven? Eh, you're not doing great yourself. I don't know. I'm going to pick my guys, and then I'll pick my nose, and then I'll uh, do some trading, and then you'll join me when we're all ready to rock. Alright, I decided to drop, um, due to the fact there's a few bow users, Florina's been dropped for now, just because. Now this map is an interesting map, because there's going to be someone to recruit who's going to appear up here, I think? And I think he's going to kind of go this way, and he's going to come over here to steal stuff. So we're going to want our lords to go up there, because we got to talk to him with Ellawood, and I think maybe Lynn can talk to him as well? And in the meantime, we've also got to send Matthew along with a contingent this way to get over to here as quick as possible. Because there's chess here and a thief comes out of here and we got to stop that guy quickly. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how that works out. Um, how am I going to play this though? I suppose I could send... I can't move them of course, they can't possibly be moved, that would be impossible. Maybe I could send Kent and Lowen to kind of get there as fast as possible. I need to get there with some speed is the thing. And I could send Dart with them to do some over-the-top killing, I suppose. So these four here can make a mad dash for that. The thing is, more enemies are going to pop out of here and here as we go, so we're going to have to really crowd control as best we can. Oh man, this could get messy. And this guy right here has a door key. Yay, door keys! That's if we kill him. If we let him use it on the first turn, then I think the silver bow becomes winnable. So that would be kind of cool. But we'd have to let him open the door first, so, you know. Uh, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's try it. Let's see how this goes. This could end up messier than hell. I can't remember if they get reinforcements that can attack the tent here. I do not recall offhand. It might be possible. Alright. You guys are going to wait... And I'll give you guys both a chance to merc this guy something awesome. Alright, pick this door open. Kent, you got a javelin? Yeah, I gave him a javelin. Alright, you handle that biz. And you got a javelin too? You have a javelin as well. Everyone gets a javelin in this house, which is the way it was meant to be. Alright, dirt. Hmm, Dart, how do I want you to handle this? You know what, I'm going to let Hector go this way and handle this. Actually, we should check real quick, just to be safe. He's got a door key that we could steal, but screw that, that's too much work. That's just too much work, boys and girls. Alright, get yourself a freebie there, Dart. Oh man, Dart throwing some style points on the kill. I mean, it doesn't do any good at that point, but still, style points. So what do we got up here? We got a sword user, a lance user, and a couple bow users, and Halberd Man. We do not want him, Cameron as he's called, we do not want him to be the one with a horsey in front, but that's fine. We actually have no horses here whatsoever, so that's a plus. You know, he's going to probably attack Hector. I didn't think that through. Fuckle sticks is what I say to that, but what can you do? You should go there, and... I conceivably could still send Raven in there, I suppose. I suppose. How far can you guys get? Not very far. Oh well. We'll see what we can do. We could still pull this off, right? I have a theory we could still pull this off, I suppose. Alright, let's just wait a minute. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you're going to attack him, that's fine. It just means it'll be an extra second delayed of getting into that treasure room to attack that archer, but that's fine, honestly. We're not concerned about getting the treasure right off. Our concern is just the twofold, stopping the thief on the one side and also recruiting that fellow who's shown. Nice level! If that's how it's going to go here, Hector, you may have set the bar at a nice level indeed. Here they come. Right on down the... Oh, you got a longbow, do you, little piggy Sue? That's great. Hope it was worth it. What well, was worth it? Dying. Okay. Ha-ha! 
Well, that sucks. That's unfortunate, even. But what can you do? You guys are still gonna come marching around here? There he is. There's the fella I was referring to. Not that's not him. That's him. Look, check out that scar, man. Yeesh. <laughs> Lego. Mm hmm. Here comes the story of the hurricane. Do 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 do. That's not actually how that goes. That kind of turned into like the Blades of Steel, like game over. Little ditty. That was weird. Anyway, we're we're a little off topic here. Let's get back on. Yeah. No sense at all. Let's go take a look at Mr. Lego. Technically, he's still with the Black Fang. He's not, but he is. Nothing special about him, really. On Hector Hard Mode, he'd be a little better. But, you know, Smee Tails, as they say. Alright. If you can kill that, that'd be great. Oh, you can kill. That'd be great. Since you're so fast, you can handle those weaponry, despite your likely limitations of strength and things. You can still have fun. Now you got a door key, which you totally need. Alright. Let's trade a door key over to her, and she'll give up her short bow just because she can. Yay! Lowen. Lowen behold. <laughs> Ah, that was great. Alright, that guy can take a crack at me if he wants, but I'm fine with that. We want to get these walls broken ASAP, so we are willing to take a little bit of time off the clock here, so to speak. Uh, what do you got again? A sword. I guess I'm going to have to just let uh, Hector get plinked a bit. hate to do it, but you know, it is what it is. Could put that guy to sleep, but that would be silly. Let's just get a heal on for Hector, who's at 31 HP. And feeling pretty good about life. However, we do have one little problem here. That problem can be solved pretty quickly by Lucius. Because he's got a sword. Not that Hector, well, Hector at this point probably can't handle a sword user. Later on he'll be able to, because he just gets so many stats. I guess. Yay. More magic is a good thing. Yeah, I'll stick with that, sure. And you'll go right to there, actually. Well, Barter's got a throwing axe, right? Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave this as is here. Alright, let's see what happens. There goes Lego. Lego my ego. I'm not sure how that has to do with anything, but whatever. Okay, so he's opened that door finally. This could be a problem. Oh, but no problem at all. No problem at all, cha 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 cha. Of course, there is going to be a second Bowman, so had that hit, we'd have a problem and Lucius might be deader than a doornail. But hey, Lucius getting experience, that's a good thing, right? If you want to die, more power to you. It's one problem for us to worry about. Yep, that's fine. You keep pot shotting over the wall. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Kent did not, did not want a piece of that. He wanted the whole damn thing. Alrighty, Roo. Now, this would be kind of a waste for Barter, and he can't kill it anyway, but uh, maybe Barter could uh, do a little weakening. He's going to take a good whack in the face for this, but he has done some weakening, and that's good news. Not enough to get his, his, um, his ultimate level up, though, as I was hoping. Okay, so he can double and kill. What about you, Ribbon? You can, too. What level are you at? You're at 14, you're at 14. All right, we'll let you pull out that killing edge and have some fun. BAM! You done. Like the dinner that I'm gonna eat later, because it's not quite dinner time yet. And a silver bow. Fantastic. 
Alright, how are we doing here? So you have an armor slayer. That could be a pain in the arse. But, again, it is what it is. So he can't reach us right now, and you have an armor slayer. So, you're at 12, and you're at 12. Alright. What's your defense look like again? 7. What's yours? 5. You have more hit points. Alright, we'll let you have some fun. You keep that thing on and murder his ass most awesomely. Do that for me, and I'll see that you get several women. Several. Alright, we gotta figure out what we're doing with these guys. Okay, you can't do that. You can do that, though. Her only problem is, she's not super bulky by any means, so... Could be a problem. Unless you can rescue her, Matthew. You apparently could, but first things first. I'll leave the javelin on just in case they decide to go after him for whatever reason. Well, now, what do you have? An iron sword. You are pathetic, and I do not think much of you. Alright, well, I guess we'll just put the slim lance on and use that as a breakable here. I could rescue her, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna rescue her just to be safe. I have a lot more faith in his ability to, to tank damage. Or you just stand there and wave your axes around and feel pretty. How's that sound? Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah! Oh, come on, Lin. Wow, no style kill at all? Nothing at all, huh? That's disappointing. But you are entitled to your opinion. An armor slayer. A sword that she'll probably never use, because armor slayers are kind of cruddy. To be perfectly frank. Slim lots to be just enough to kill this... Kent, you and Loan are fighting for my heart. You might be ahead by a nose. Well, more strength and some resistance, oddly enough. That is an unfortunate plan on your part. Tink! Well, he doesn't have enough in the, in the tank to kill him, but that's something. Let's drop her right here. Petunia Petticoat, as she likes to be called. And now we have even better of it. <laughs> awesome. Not a good level up, Loan. You're making it even easier to make decisions based on things. Okay, that's good. We got that wall down now. That thief will be showing up real soon. I don't know how soon, but he will be showing up soon, and it could be a potential issue. See, so you can get Barter one more weak and up job here, and we'd be all set. You have a steel lance and a door key for sale. Lance and a halberd. Okay. This looks like a job for Super Hector. No, don't be rescuing. Alright. Alright, uh, we'll go with that. Here he comes. Here comes Cameron. As you can see, Hector's defense. Pretty good. Ah, oh, but he missed. I was going to say we would be able to feed a decent kill here to someone, but... No dice. No dice. But once Hector cleans these guys' clocks off, real good. Because, let's face it, they're not doing a thing to him. Already you're seeing how tanky and amazing Hector gets. He'll kill them and increase his weapon level, and he'll be happy, happy, happy. That's just a bad plan, man. It's a bad plan. Bad scene. Nice. Oh, he didn't kill him, though. Are an axe broken or something? No, he just, just didn't have the speed. I appreciate you going after Kent, because you can do damage. Seriously, Kent? My god. Here come the reinforcements. That is a pain in the butt. Alright. Does anyone have any equipment room over here? Kent, maybe? No one does. Dead shucks. Oh well. Alright. 
to send you to there. The plan is, right now as I see it, I am going to try to hold these guys in this room while Kent and Matthew play defense. Now the bad thing is I didn't leave an open spot, which means Matthew can't steal crap right now, which is not good. Does any of you guys, well Raven has plenty of room. How about you, Dart? You do as well. Oh, Dart, you're not doing it well. On the other hand, I can use Dart to pick some stuff off, so... That's unfortunate. Alright, guy. You're just gonna have to get shot in the face. Can you handle getting shot in the face? I'm sure you can. Well, Bart, that would get you the kill. That I'm looking to get you. Actually, some enemies are gonna pop out of the staircase over here, so I'll let him pick up what he needs from there. You can have some fun over here. What the? Damn it, you don't have enough speed. Well, whatever. Wow, really? <laughs> this just keeps getting worse and worse, damn it. Oh well. Never mind. It's over. <laughs> Man, there's been some hilarious critical luck in the last few maps. It's been kind of crazy. Nicely done, Hector. Nicely done. Alright, we're gonna figure out how to hurt Cameron pretty badly. Now, you're at 1283 or 1248 now. There's nothing in danger of causing a problem here. So, Elwood, how about you go have some fun? Oh, he's going to have some fun at Cameron's expense. Yeah, he is. <laughs> awesome. Nicely done, Elwood. Now get a good level for it. THAT'S NOT A GOOD LEVEL! Halberd. Send that in there. Another weapon I'm not all that impressed with. Alright. Fine. We're gonna be that way about it. Anyone hurt? Is anyone hurt at all? How do I want to do this? Uh, I'll send you with him, I guess. And this will give Guy a little better support. What? Actually? Sleep? Sure, put him to sleep. Give Guy a chance to not get shot in the face immediately. That could be fun. Plus, it's experience. And I often don't use these staves. Like, sleep and other things like that. I just don't use them, so... Could be fun. I guess you were gonna go try to... Ooh, this is getting violent. Alright. Matthew, hold down the fort. That's unfortunate. He can't wander that far. We'll let him do some wandering. All right, what do you guys got? Iron in hand, iron in hand, iron bow. So basically, if I equip a sword and hit this, they can only attack me once from range, so this isn't a bad idea. We'll do that. And again, if they want to attack someone from range, I guess they could have some fun at her expense, but... Whatever. She'll tank it. She totally won't. This might have been a huge mistake. But whatever, as they say. Alright. And X. Now, you'll be able to attack if I put Raven in range? Yes, you will. Well, doesn't that mean of you? But you know what? I want to get their conversation going, so... Do you mind? Darn it. You know what? He's going to be asleep, so hit him anyway. That's fine. Guy, I guess, can plink away for some extra experience. I really should get my healer back to the front, but uh, it is what it is. All right. You can talk to him. Can you talk to him like I remember? They can. Which one should I make talk? You know what? I don't think I've ever really done the Lin conversation, so let's talk to him with Lin. Besides, Elwood does a lot of talking, anyway. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, good question. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Yeah, exactly. She would, yeah. 
That's why she can have the conversation, because of the relationship to Uhai. Okay. I was aware of that. Now that's the man we've come to defeat. Hmm. <laughs> Yay! So we have a second thief. So he has room in his dealio to uh, help us, but we'd have to make sure to get him clear of those guys since he opened that gate. So I'm gonna send him over there and get ready to do some thieverating. It'll be fun. But that is gonna have to wait until next time because we've kind of hit up against it. So join us then when we will move onwards here and see what happens.